I'm going to go ahead and assume that most drama in your life comes from you and your family members' conflicting viewpoints. Well, the same strife is a touchstone in the scientific community. In the Conflicting Viewpoints passage, you'll read arguments from these sparring scientists. This portion is considered the reading passage of the science section. It consists of two or three controversial concepts or opinions from different people. There is typically just one conflicting viewpoint passage per test, and it usually has seven questions. It can show up at any point in the science testing section. Here's a pro tip from me to you. This passage will take longer to complete, so if you're running out of time and you see that the conflicting viewpoints passage is second to last, you may want to complete the last section first and return to it afterwards if you have time. You'll need to skim each experiment, note the evidence each scientist presents, and identify the points of agreement and disagreement between or among them. As in the research summary, the first two sentences of each experiment may provide the hypotheses, and supporting data in charts or graphs may accompany the conflicting viewpoints passages. Let's try an example of a conflicting viewpoints passage. Two scientists discuss the possibility of predicting hurricanes and the paths that the hurricanes will take. Scientist one hypothesizes that hurricane prediction can be made in real time based on certain events. For example, winds shift inland and increase in speed up to two days before a hurricane makes landfall. The tidal volume can increase by 30% one day before a hurricane makes landfall. Animals are sometimes seen exhibiting strange behavior as far ahead as weeks before a hurricane makes landfall. Certain instruments, such as seismographs, can detect the ground vibrations that occur while a hurricane is making its way across the ocean. The direction of the vibration's origin allows the scientific community to predict the path that the hurricane will take. Historical evidence is also a valuable predictive tool. Scientist 2 claims that hurricane prediction cannot be made in real time. Shifts in wind speed and direction on shore haven't been proven to have any effect on the direction or time of landfall. A seismograph can be used to determine the direction of a hurricane's path only when a hurricane makes landfall. Tidal volume is constantly changing for many different reasons and, therefore, cannot be used as a predictive tool. Previous records of hurricane patterns are a much more accurate way to predict when and where a hurricane will occur. Once enough information has been derived from past hurricanes, predictive measures can be developed. You can see from the first sentence that each scientist's thesis differs about whether or not hurricanes can be predicted in real time. Then the scientists go into the reasons to support their theories. Now let's try out a few questions. Which statement, if true, would support both scientists' viewpoints? The answer choices are A. Historical hurricane data has recently been used to predict the path a hurricane will take. B. Seismic activity is predictive of both when and where the hurricane will make landfall. C. Tidal volume cannot be used as a predictive tool because it is constantly changing. Or D, tidal volume and wind direction are not accurate or useful predictors of hurricanes. Reading the passage again, we see that most of the arguments contradict one another, but both scientists agree that historical data is a useful and accurate predictor of hurricanes. So the correct choice would be A. The other answer choices may support either viewpoint, but not both. This next question only pertains to scientists too. What would be the best way to test the claims made by scientists too? The answer choices are F. Compare current hurricane data with the past data in the same area. G. Monitor seismic activity along the coastline. H. Keep a record of the tidal volume before a hurricane makes landfall. Or J, track animal behavior before the arrival of the hurricane.
From the reading, you know that Scientist 2 believes that data from past hurricanes is an accurate way to predict the paths of hurricanes. So, comparing current and past data would be a good way to test the validity of Scientist 2's claims. So, the answer is F. The other answer choices are not supported by Scientist 2's theory. Lastly, we have a question about whether some added information would strengthen, weaken, or have no effect on one or both of the scientists' viewpoints. As they approach land, tropical storms would bring increased winds before the storms attain hurricane status. If early identification of tropical storms could help to predict hurricanes, such information would most likely A. Strengthen Scientist 1's viewpoint B. Weaken Scientist 1's viewpoint C. Weaken the viewpoints of both Scientist 1 and Scientist 2 Or D. Have no effect on either scientist's viewpoint According to the passage, Scientist 1 believes that certain events, such as shifts in wind direction and wind speed, can be used to predict hurricanes. Because tropical storms are often accompanied by increased winds and later classified as hurricanes, the viewpoint of Scientist 1 is strengthened, and A would be the correct answer. Like I said before, conflicting viewpoints are at the heart of any good drama. Whether scientists are sparring about hurricanes or the probability of complex life forms on other planets, this passage should be enlightening. Although we're at the end of this lesson, your work is not done. Time to put all those practice passages to good use.